Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Mark Report brought to you by Mike Pierre. Today is Thursday and it's August 3rd. Hey, we got a few economic news releases scheduled for today and we'll just kind of delve right into it. We'll start off with the economic or the weekly jobless claims. So last week we had 245,000 people apply for unemployment. Forecast supposed to be within that same range at 244,000 and it came in 5,000 less at 240,000, which is obviously great news. These are still very uh, low numbers that we're seeing not since uh, like the 1970s. So like 44 years or saying uh, that we're seeing these type of numbers here. So these are obviously remarkable numbers that we're seeing in the job market really kind of getting good. But again, um, even though we're getting jobs, the problem is wages. We're not seeing wages really going up enough. Uh, and that's what's keeping the inflation numbers down r relatively too low, which is also, of course, driving the Fed a bit crazy. Um Second item, and we got the market services uh, PMI. So the service industry kind of gauges as to how the uh, services are doing. These two um, numbers here, basically, are going to uh, next two here. Both will be service industry are talking about anything above fifty is considered expansion. Anything below that is contraction. So the reporting in June, we had a fifty-four point two, and July settled at fifty-four point seven. So it went up slightly. Uh, so better obviously than coming down but it went up slightly uh, now we got however we got the ism non-manufacturing also known as ism services pmi for the july these are two different indexes i uh, basically gauge in the same thing we had uh in june 57.4 forecast was supposed to be kind of within that range at 56.9 but it had a pretty big drop down to 53.9 percent so ism shows a bigger drop in the bit of a drop so kind of a mix obviously uh, reporting what we're getting here in the services industry and obviously the service industry is uh, important primarily because that makes up the uh, bulk of the jobs here in the US it's we have more services service oriented jobs over uh, manufacturing and that's on the heels in the uh, job market for tomorrow where we get the job numbers being released and that's gonna be the big ticket item this week here last but not least we got factory orders. So back in May, we had a, a drop of 0.3% uh, and forecast supposed to go up to 2.9. It came premature rate expectations at 3% in for the month of June. So factory orders is obviously on the up, which is a good sign uh, heading into the uh, summertime. So let's take a look here at the headline news here. We have uh, kind of a mixed stock remark part. Uh, you know, a lot of the stock markets kind of started up a little bit, but uh, since then, the S&P and Nasdaq pulled down. Technology stock seems to be pulling down. We had that big run-up on Apple yesterday, which uh, now we're starting to get a little pullback because, you know, when you have such a big run-up, so people start second-guessing the valuations, and of course, now they kind of uh, sell uh, off of that because they get kind of emotional in the beginning, and then they kind of logic comes comes in and then it kind of start pull back a little bit so you're seeing uh, a pullback a little bit on apple but we also got kind of a mixed earnings reports a little bit today something else that kind of came out is uh the, the uh, bank of england gave out the report uh super thursday report and basically held rates uh the same uh quarter percent over there but they also lowered their gdp number for the uh for the year 2017 so uh they don't see a uh, getting a lot better they, I mean, they had to pull back on their expectations for 2017 for England here and so let's take a look here at the bond market so that dovish comment from the Bank of England is also kind of helping out the bond market here uh, as a result so as you can see we passed uh, the 50-day moving average where that becomes our floor of resistance which helps us out a lot and so now we're heading into our next um, Again, we're heading into our next uh, resistance level here. We're currently up about 16 basis points, well, which will give us uh, a little boost in our interest rates, will help us out with, uh, with an improvement in our interest rates. But again, tomorrow is going to be the job, big jobs numbers coming in. And if it comes in what we expect or better, uh, which is about 108,000 new jobs or an unemployment dropping down to about 4.3, uh, we really need to be careful. You may want to, if you're refinancing if you're buying a home right now and you're currently in market and have a loan in process uh, we've been seeing this nice little run-up improvement in our slowly as you can see this little run-up over the past week or two of improvement in our interest rates you may want to kind of lock in here because this could be a short-term blip where uh, if those numbers come in nice uh, the stock market and probably treasuries will take off a bit and it'll pull back on the bond market which will worsen here so you may want to kind of consider maybe locking in today uh, if you have those out there um, just to kind of protect yourself from any decent job numbers. We've been getting some pretty good job numbers of late. So, uh, again, uh, it might be.
better to protect your recent gains and then a lock in here because short term we could have a little uh, blip here where it could uh, come in lower again hopefully we're wrong but again it's better to um, take the gains in now and uh, not take the risk of losing them uh, short term and then when you have to close and then you have to um, take those uh, worse pricing especially when you know you've had better pricing <clears throat> excuse me um, so that pretty much concludes it for the day here. Uh, if you need, if you guys want to get more updates throughout the day, just come over to Twitter. I'm at Mike Bjork. I do posts throughout, including the market closes. So this way you can kind of see from the start to beginning, beginning to the end, where uh, the bond market closed, and even where the stock market. I do put those up there as well. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.